Hello, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome back to Exotic Astrology. We are delighted to have uh, Bharatram Jeevdas today, finally after so long. So today, Saru will be speaking on the topic of why your accurate birth time could be wrong. So please uh, enlighten us. And you also have a presentation. So thank you very much for coming to Exotic Astrology. Please uh, share your knowledge with us. Uh, thank you very much, Bhabhajit. I want to begin this, uh, uh, this uh, recording with a real life incident. In 1963, in October 1963, President Tito, who was the president of Yugoslavia, the former Yugoslavia, he went to the United States on a state visit. And when he landed in the airport, in a city in the state of Virginia, there was nobody at the airport to receive him. It was a big embarrassment for the US government saying that the head of the government of, a, uh, of Yugoslavia landed in the US with nobody at the airport to receive him. So after they got over their embarrassment, they found out that the airport of the state city where President Tito landed was following a time zone which was different from the time zone which the rest of Virginia was following. So the airport in Virginia decided to follow a different time zone. Okay, As a result of which the people who were supposed to come and receive him got late because they did not know the airport was a different time zone and the rest of the city was in a different time zone and the rest of the state was in a different time zone. You see, there is a book by this author called Michael Downing. Okay, his book is called Spring Forward, The Annual Madness of Daylight Saving. He says, till about the year 1963, there were many offices in the US in the same building, but on different floors. And on each floor, they were following a different time zone. So the first floor could be a different time zone then the second floor could be a different time zone and the third floor could be a different time zone. So they could all be following a very different time zone. So there was complete confusion in the US because till 1966, there was no law governing the time zone. Now, Babajit, I just want to ask you, if somebody came to you for a consultation, and said that they were born in Mumbai, in India, on the 10th of January, 1950, with a time zone of 12 noon. What would you say the time zone would be at that time? Uh, the GMT 530 plus. GMT 530 plus. But do you know that in India, till about 1955, Calcutta had a different time zone, the presidency of Kolkata, okay, the entire zone, okay. not just the city. Mumbai presidency had a different time zone. Wow. Madras presidency has a different time zone. The Indian railways worked on a different time. Okay. And the tea gardens of Assam had a different time. Wow. So this nobody knows. People think that India is, has always been GST plus five hours and 30 minutes, but that's wrong. Yeah, correct. Plus, in addition to it, for one year during World War II, we had a daylight saving time in addition to four different time zones. Okay. So th that adds a, adds a further layer of complication to the entire time zone thing. So what I want to say is that if your time of birth is wrong, if your, if your time of birth is accurate, but if the time zone is wrong, you could be completely wrong in casting the chart. Yes. Now, I have been correcting time zones for, I have been correcting the birth time for many people, okay, over the last 10 years. The first thing I do is to see whether the time zone that they have used is accurate or not. And I find in more than 25, 30% of the time, 
the time zone itself is wrong. The time may be accurate, but if the time zone itself is wrong, the whole horoscope is wrong. So let me just begin uh, the presentation and show you some, uh, uh, some examples of this. Uh, let me see how do I share it. Yeah, share screen. So my presentation is your accurate time of birth could be wrong, need not be wrong, but it could be wrong. You see, the US has 11 time zones, Eastern time, Central time, Mountain time, Pacific time, Atlantic time, Alaska time, uh, Hawaii time, American Samoa time, Camaro time, Baker Island time, Wake Island time. Now all these time zones, number one, also have a DST time. Not all, some of have a DST time, some don't have a DST time. Even when there is a DST time, time zones, the DST doesn't always necessarily change on the same date. There are different dates on which the DST applies. Okay, so the whole US time zone business is a very complicated business, at least as far as astrology is concerned, because astrology is based on capturing the correct time zone and the correct time. So if even the time zone is wrong, your chart and horoscope is wrong. You see, in August 1953, two trains in America collided because the guards had set the watches to different time zones. Because there was no there was no law which was governing the time zone. So in order to prevent this, in addition to the 11 time zones, a railway time was also formed in the US. To coordinate all the trains, they were following a railway time zone. Till 1918, there was no law which was governing the time zone. Okay, the first law which tried to control the way in which the time zone is used was is called the Standard Time Act of 1918 in the US. Okay, now when they made this law of 1918, Section 264 of this Act mistakenly, by mistake, placed most of the state of Idaho in UTC minus six, when it should have been UTC minus seven. It was a mistake. And this mistake was corrected only in 2007. Wow. So from 1918 till 2007, there was a time zone mistake in the state of Idaho. One hour. Now imagine, I would imagine that all those who have come to you, Babaji, for consultation have come to you with the wrong chart. Oh, okay. Now, till 1966, in the US, every state, every city, and even every locality could decide on their own whether they wanted to follow the DST or not follow the DST. It was up to the individual city. And not only the individual city, it was up to the individual locality within the city, the municipality, to decide, should we follow the DST or oh, let's leave the DST. So till 1966, the time zone of the US was in a mess. And this, this act, Uniform Time Act of 1966, was passed to correct this mess. And I can tell you, by virtue of my of having seen uh, uh, many, many charts of people born in the US till 70, the, the, the time zone which they give to me is completely wrong. Just by correcting the time zone, I am able to correct the time of birth. I think the US charts record very accurate time of birth, the hospitals. But the people who come to me, the, the, the horoscope is wrong because the time, of, the, 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 the time zone is wrong. Okay, now you see the state of Alabama in the US follows 
Central Daylight Time (CDT). The, the city of Montgomery in Alabama fo follows the state, okay, which is Central Daylight Time. But there's another city. It's called the Phoenix City, which is only 80 miles away from Montgomery, Mont Montgomery, which follows the Eastern Daylight Time. Even now. Wow. So if you go into the astrological software and uh, put in the state of Alabama and put Montgomery as a city and Phoenix City as a city, you will get the same time zone. Though in reality, they are following different time zones. Your software may or may not recognize that. The city of Texas follows central time. However, there are two counties of Texas, El Paso and Huspet, which follows the Texas mountain time. Not Texas mountain time, but the mountain time. So just to say, because these cities are in Texas, they should be following the Texas time zone is completely incorrect. So you, you end up with the wrong horoscope. Now, if you take the state of Illinois, Illinois had a law which required until 1959 that all the birth in the state of Illinois had to be registered without the daylight saving, in spite of the fact that the daylight saving time was in force. So that was the law. Now, as an astrologer sitting in India, I don't know all this. I have to go by what the software tells me is the correct time zone. We all presume that the software is accurate, but the software relies on an electronic atlas to give the correct latitude and longitude to give the correct time zone. But there, are so, there have been so many changes in the past, nobody knows how many changes there have been in the past. So electronic atlas is also amended only periodically. So suppose there's a time zone change in the last two years, the electronic atlas on which the software depends will not record it because the electronic atlas has to be amended. And that amendment is not done on a daily basis or yearly basis. It is done once in a while. So you cannot blindly trust the software to give you an accurate chart based on the time of birth, hoping that the time zone is taken care of by the software. You cannot hope. Let me just proceed this. I have cast this chart, imaginary chart, 5th April 2020, born in Montgomery, Alabama. Okay, time zone shown is five hours, okay, west of GMT. Okay, now I have taken the same time of birth, 5th April 2020, 11, 11 a.m., okay? The time zone in Phoenix, Alabama is shown as five hours west of GMT. However, this time zone should have been four hours west of GMT and not five hours. How do I know? I go to timeanddate.com. Timeanddate.com, according to my experience, is very, very accurate. Uh, they have recorded every single app over the years, uh, checked it out. If you go to timeanddate.com, you will see Phoenix City in Alabama, minus four. But here in the software, it is minus five. So who do I trust? I don't automatically trust the software. Okay. I don't automatically trust this, but this is a website which can update everything you know, on the go. If they come to know of a uh, time zone change, they update it. But a software cannot be updated so quickly. It's just not possible. So, all I'm saying is that don't automatically uh, believe that the time zone that you are using is accurate because if you use the wrong time zone, you end up with the wrong birth chart. So what do you do? You go to timeanddate.com. Okay. You go to this section, search section. You put the city that you want. You put Phoenix City here in this search box. Okay, you put Phoenix City. You come to this Phoenix City, Alabama. You go to time zone. You go to time zone. Okay. 
and you will see that the time zone from the 8th of march 2020 is minus 4 utc minus 4 and not utc minus 5 okay so in this now, i just want to also mentioned in that yeah yeah for for it, it has all the data for i think the last 20 30 years okay so, yeah so you just go and select the year you see you you take the state of indiana okay indiana is divided between eastern time zone and central time zone okay till 2008 every county in the state of indiana could follow either eastern time zone or central time zone it was up to them so does the astrologer astrology software know which county was following eastern time zone and which 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 county was following the central time zone now illinois has moved a legislation in 2019 which will make the dst daylight saving time permanent from 2020 march 2020 they have already moved an amendment to their laws which will make the daylight saving time permanent from 2020 yet to be implemented because of all these problems which is going on i think they don't have the time to push this law okay but assuming that tomorrow it becomes permanent which means uh, one hour forward is going to be the permanent time zone the electronic atlas on which the software depends cannot make the amendment now it will be done in the next edition of the software or the okay. next edition of the atlas which could be one year later two years later i don't know so but if you get a chart from somebody born here you're very likely to go wrong and other than illinois 35 other u.s states are now considering a legislation to make dst permanent they are sick of this back and forth one hour summer winter they're tired so 35 states are already doing that in the process now we don't know i mean you are sitting in germany i am sitting in india we don't know what is happening so what do we depend on we depend on the software the software is not going to get updated so fast so you have to go to a third party uh, place like time and date i use time and date to check whether the 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 time zone that your software is giving is accurate before you you venture into your predictions now you just take india okay india adopted the indian standard time from the 1st of january 1906 in spite of the fact that india has uh, should have followed the indian standard time from the 1st january 1906 Kolkata or Calcutta followed a different time zone till 1948, which is 5 hours, 53 minutes, 20 seconds. Bombay or Mumbai followed a different time zone, 4 hours, 51 minutes till 1955. Madras followed a time of 5 hours, 21 minutes, 14 seconds, which is also the railway, which was the railway time of India. I don't know till when they followed it because there is no information till which date they followed it. I don't know. Port Blair in India, of course, followed a different time, but from the 1st January 1906, they moved into the uh, Indian Standard Time. In addition to all this time zone mess, there was a war time from 1st September 1942 to the 15th October 1945, where the time was advanced by one hour. So Bombay time advanced by one hour, Kolkata time advanced by one hour, Madras time advanced by one hour, Indian standard time advanced by one hour. Wow. So we don't know who is following which time zone. What to advance? Indian standard time to be advanced or the Kolkata time to be advanced? What time to be advanced? We don't know. In addition, Babajit, you're from the Indian state of Assam. Assam is known for its tea gardens. Okay. The tea gardens of Assam follow a different time. It's called the Bagan time. Bagan means garden or the tea garden because the people there start the work very early in the morning. They set their clocks and their watches to one hour ahead of the Indian standard time. So that's not an official time. 
but that's the time that the local people follow. And there are hundreds and thousands of people working in the tea gardens of Assam. It's a huge area spread over a very large number of districts of Assam. So they, they go by their clock, which is set one hour ahead of India, rest of India, that is. So if a child is born in the tea gardens of Assam, even today, it is very likely that the time of birth has been set to one, uh, one hour ahead of the Indian standard time at that time. So if, if the astrologer doesn't know this, and if, if, if he goes by the software and you know, goes at five hours, 30 minutes GMT plus, that is ahead of GMT, he's going to be wrong. It's completely wrong. Everything wrong. The whole ascendant might change in one hour. Or so. Absolutely. Absolutely. Absolutely it will change. Absolutely it will change. Now look at this. South Sudan mm -hmm. is a new country which is formed two, three, four years back. Okay. South Sudan. It was carved out of the country of Sudan. Now, Sudan, South Sudan has a time zone of GMT plus three. And I use four different software. All the four software show this as GMT plus two. Now, if I don't check this from an independent source, the independent source can be Wikipedia because Wikipedia gives today's status. It can be Wikipedia or it can be timeanddate.com. I go to timeanddate.com. It will show you that South Sudan runs on GMT plus three and not GMT plus two. You see, most of Greenland runs on GMT minus three. Okay. Okay. Greenland is part of Denmark. But GMT minus three is actually four hours behind its parent nation, Denmark, which runs on GMT plus one. So if you assume, oh, the time uh, Greenland is part of Denmark, so Denmark should be, Greenland should be the same as Denmark. It's not going to work. You have to check. Greenland runs on GMT minus three, but the 18th largest city of Greenland, Itokor Tur, Itokor Turmit, okay? Mm -hmm. One city runs on GMT minus one. One city. Wow. Which is part of Greenland. All of Greenland works on GMT minus three, but this one city works on GMT minus one. So, you have to know this. You have to double check this. Australia has four time zones, plus eight, plus 9.3, not 9.3, plus nine and a half, plus 10, plus 10 and a half. But there's a small place in Australia called Ukla, which has only 86 people. Oh. Okay. Which uses eight hours, 45 minutes as the time zone. Wow. So you cannot assume that because Ukla is in Australia, it must be using one of these four time zones. They have their own time zone. For what reason, oh. I don't know. But as an astrologer, you have to know this. So you cannot know it, but you have to verify it. Okay, yeah. So this is very surprising. Even one city is like, uh, it's very... Yeah. Exactly. Exactly. So, you know, this time zone is full of these tales, which, oh, okay. which is not, it's not known generally because we have been practicing with software. We just trust the software to do the job for us, but it's not automatic. You cannot automatically depend upon the software to do the job. See, till 1966, when the Uniform Time Act was passed in the U.S., a 35 mile stretch of this highway called route number two between Moundsville in West Virginia and Staubenville in Ohio. Every bus driver had to change the time seven times in 35 miles because the time was changing seven times within 35 miles. My God. Who knows? <laughs> I could have no clue, you know. So that was the mess. You see, in October 2018, that is recent, October 2018, just two days before the clocks were to change to winter time in Morocco, they decided not to change to winter time. 
just two days before the clocks were supposed to change for winter time, that is clocks were supposed to go backwards, Morocco said, we are not going backwards, we are going to stay where we are. Now, there is no way the software would know this. There is no way. Because the software would assume that the, the, the summer time would change to winter time in October on a particular date. But just two days before, it was decided not to go back. Now, you live in Germany, I'm sure you know that every country in the EU is now saying we don't want this back and forth. We just want to stay with DST. Have you heard of this? Yes, yes, correct. Yeah, they don't want to go back and forth. Now, this could happen any day because they've been debating this for many years. Okay. And suppose it happens this year or next year. The, the, the software won't reflect the change for some time. Okay. So yes. till such time the electronic atlas is updated by its makers, the software will continue to show what has been what it has been programmed historically to show. Okay, correct. So you have to go to timeanddate.com or wherever else you would like to go and cross check the time zone given by your software and the time zone given by the by the website and check which is more accurate. You see, Sri Lanka had a civil unrest problem for almost 10 years, correct? Yes. Government of Sri Lanka during that time was following GMT plus six. But the areas in which there was unrest, the people there were following GMT plus five and a half, which is the Indian standard time. Oh. oh, yeah. So that was unofficially. So they were they had set the clocks to GMT plus five and a half. But the government of Sri Lanka was following GST plus six. Wow. So there was one official time and there was one unofficial time. So if you get a horoscope from Sri Lanka, how do you cast the chart? GMT plus 5.5, GMT plus six, you don't know. And today, Sri Lanka is GMT, officially the whole of Sri Lanka is GMT plus five and a half. Okay. So they are the same as IST. So you don't know which time zone the software should follow. There is no clarity. So countries like Spain, Venezuela, Samoa, Crimea, Crimea in Ukraine, they've had significant time zone changes over the years. So these are the countries where you really have to be very, very careful with what time zone the software shows. Chatham Islands in, the, in New Zealand does not follow the New Zealand time. Oh. It's in New Zealand. It does not follow the New Zealand time. Yukon in Canada was alternating between Pacific Standard Time and Pacific Daylight Time. Okay? But from this March 2020, it will stay on daylight time throughout the year for the next many years. Now, do you know this? Suppose you get a horoscope from, from Yukon, Canada of a child which is born in April 2020. The software would not know whether to take PST or PDT, Pacific Standard Time or Pacific Daylight Time, because this is a recent legislation applicable from last month. Yeah. So in 2019, only in that year, except all other years, Brazil did not follow summer time, only in one year. How would the software know that Brazil did not follow summer time in 2019? It's like almost impossible to know this. Yeah, exactly. It's not possible. It's just not possible. You have to dig into it. Okay. So the astrologer's job is not just predictive astrology, but to do the predictive astrology, you have to number one, ensure the time of birth is correct. Yes. To get to the correct time of birth, first you've got to know the time zone. Whether yes. the time zone that you're following is accurate. Now, I just want to uh, dwell a little bit on the significance of time zones. Okay. 
earlier it was called gmt greenwich mean time now it's no longer called greenwich mean time it's called utc which is the universal time coordinate okay universal time coordinate which is the time of birth that is the time at greenwich at the time when you are born is used to calculate the position of the planets because the position of the planets has to be the same for all of us okay yes. just because i am born in india and somebody is born in america mm -hmm. the huh. degrees minute seconds of the planets cannot change correct correct planets have to be where they are okay correct. so correct. the gmt or the utc is used to calculate the position of the planets okay, okay. and the local mean time lmt is used for calculating your ascendant or the lagna and it is used for calculating the house cusp correct because the house cusp and lagna has to reflect the place of my birth correct but the planetary position has to be from one single point in the world which is uh, greenwich okay now what is this local mean time i refer to the local mean time is used for calculating the position of house cusps and ascendant okay what is local mean time you see the time changes 4 minutes for every 1 degree change in longitude for 1 degree change in longitude the time changes 4 minutes okay the time zone itself changes every 15 degrees change of long longitude time zone itself changes now the indian standard time which is 5 hours 30 minutes ahead of gmt is based on this longitude 82 degrees 33 minutes longitude which is located in a town in the town of mirzapur which is in the state of uttar pradesh so this is the basis of the indian standard time being 5 hours 30 minutes ahead of utc or gmt but the local mean time for every city will vary on the basis of its longitude now let me give you an example bangalore this is bangalore's longitude where i am 77 degrees 35 minutes 37.28 seconds east longitude okay this is bangalore's longitude now mirzapur which is the basis of the indian standard time is 82 degrees 33 minutes 51.94 seconds this is mirzapur time which is the basis of ist indian standard time bangalore is lower in the longitude okay lesser longitude 77 degrees 35 minutes 37.28 seconds what is the difference the difference in the longitude is 4 degrees 58 minutes 14.66 seconds is the difference in the longitude between yes the ist time location and bangalore location correct correct this if you convert into minutes translates to 19 minutes 51.60 seconds correct so bangalore's real time bangalore's local mean time is 19 minutes 51.60 seconds behind ist which means that if the local uh, if the indian standard time is 7 pm which is 1900 hours ist then the real bangalore time in the south of india is 18 hours 40 minutes 8.40 seconds 6:40 pm so the real india time is uh, 1900 hours the real bangalore time is 18:40 8.40 seconds this time lmt lmt is converted into gmt or universal time coordinated which is the greenwich time this is converted this is converted to uh, uh, gmt to calculate uh, the planetary positions this is converted to gmt to calculate planetary position but this 1848 uh seconds 8.47 seconds is used to calculate the ascendant and it is used to calculate the position of the house cusp so this is very important local mean time because it has to be converted to gmt or utc to calculate the planetary position and this itself has to be used to calculate the ascendant and the house cusp so my concluding uh, thing on this bhavajit is time zones are not constant okay 
time zones are changing continuously for many reasons cities and so not cities countries may decide to tame, change their time zone okay for example uh, sri lanka was 6 hours earlier 6 hours ahead of gmt earlier now it's 5 and a half hours it's the same as ist because they find it's easier to communicate with india and india finds it easier to communicate with sri lanka if they are on the same time zone so office hours are the same and it becomes easier to operate okay astrology software is usually accurate is usually accurate but you cannot always be 100% sure that they are using the correct time zone and i have seen this again and again and again so i would say maybe 80 90% of the times they are correct but sometimes they are not and in those times they are not you are going to land up with the inaccurate birth chart the electronic atlas which is used by astrology astrological software is updated only periodically so if yes. south sudan is a new country which has been formed out of sudan the astrological software will continue to use sudan time they will not it will not reflect the time zone of the new country so my recommendation is please cross check the time zone which you have used in your software with another source which can be timeanddate.com or which can be some other website it can be wikipedia or it can be whatever else but in my use i found time and date very good because it goes back almost 30 40 years and it tells you when the dst changed whether the country had dst whether the country didn't have dst and all that if the time zone is incorrect if the time zone is incorrect it is like the birth time being incorrect yes so which is why the topic my topic is your accurate time of birth could be wrong not because the time of birth is wrong yeah. because the basis on which your your planetary position is calculated is wrong because your local time zone is wrong it is converting to the wrong gmt on which is on the basis of which the wrong planetary positions are coming into your chart okay so you see this is uh, all this uh, are uh, is a result of whatever difficulties i face in in correcting the time of birth okay so over the years i've collected uh, many many articles and videos which uh, which also talk about all this okay so if any of your viewers are interested in you know uh, reading more about it uh, they can they can refer to this additional material which you can probably uh, put as a pinned remark a pinned pinned comment in your in your on your channel okay so they can then because this way they cannot click on it and go to that site but uh, if you if you pin it as a comment then they can click on it and go to these various sites which talk about all these issues in astrology so astrology is not just about depending blindly on the software you have to get the fundamentals right which is the time of birth right and the time zone right if you have the time of birth right and the time zone right everything is right and the birth time can be right only if the time zone is right so thank you very much babajit for uh, letting me share this with you and with this uh, let me just stop the share yeah in fact thank you very much only thing i am wondering after the presentation i wish i would have seen this 20 years back <laughs> life, life would be a bit different i guess for me i mean uh, yeah it's very surprising about sudan as you said you know that they are following yeah. new thing but yeah we really need to cross check and uh, people also have to be cautious in uh, like telling us also and we also should cross it so i also always do this i spend around uh, 15 20 minutes in the beginning of my consultations figuring out extreme events i always verify but then again now <laughs> after watching your presentation i'm like if the time zone is only off then uh, we really need to check the time zone first thank you very much and uh, very thank great. you very much babajit and all the best to you yes thank you thank you Thanks a lot.